you are having an issue with your machine not cooling, begin troubleshooting by checking the temperature of the machine. Push zero on the keypad. If you see a star when the temperature is displayed, it indicates that the control board is calling for the refrigeration system to come on. Also, if you see a dash next to T1 on the display, the temperature sensor is not connected or bad. When starting up the machine, it usually takes 3-5 to five minutes for the refrigeration unit to turn on. If the refrigeration unit turns on, first check the air filter and replace with a new one if necessary. You can find the air filter off to the lower right inside the machine. An extra air filter is provided in your machine. Also, brush off the screen underneath the machine to improve airflow. If the machine is still not cooling, open the door and make sure the evaporator coil here is not iced over. The buildup here serves as insulation to the refrigeration unit that prohibits cooling. If there is frost buildup here, check to make sure the evaporator fan is working. The frost buildup means that the refrigeration unit is capable of cooling. It is very important to make sure that the machine is at minimum 4 inches away from the wall so that the condenser fan has room to move the warm air out from the compressor. If the machine is still not cooling, make sure the machine has correct settings. Enter service mode by pressing this button on the control panel. Then press 4 for the configuration menu. Then press 0 for the advanced configuration menu. If you are unsure the password to your machine, try 2314. Press 7 to access temperature settings. If the temperature says snack, you can press 7 to correct it to cold, or press 7 again to correct it to cold food. Press pound to save. In most machines, you will only use the cold food setting. The cold setting is only used on models 3589 and 3578. Now verify the temperature settings. Hit star until you get back to the original service mode screen. Press 3 for the options menu and then 8 to see the temperature set point. If the machine is still not cooling, make sure that the fan and the compressor are working. You can try forcing them to come on in the diagnostics portion of the machine's programming. To do this, first put the machine in service mode by pressing this button on the control panel. When in service mode, press 0 to go to the diagnostics menu. Pressing 2 gets you to the relays menu. Press 1 to go to relay 1. If Relay 1 is off, press 1 again to turn it on to force the compressor and fan to turn on. Press 1 to turn it off. To test the evaporator fan, go back to the Relays menu by pressing Star. Press 2 to go to Relay 2. Press 2 to turn on the evaporator fan. Press 2 to turn it off. It is also important to make sure that the refrigeration unit has the right voltage. If it is not cooling, it could also be that there is no Freon, which is the gaseous coolant agent. For more technical assistance, contact Vennet USA Technicians at 1-800-833-4411.